So we had all of our inspections this week. We had our underground plumbing inspection and we passed that. So we poured concrete over that so the floor's all patched in. We had our framing inspection. We had our electrical rough fit inspection and we just had the panel changed out. We still haven't had the power turned back on, but we're waiting for that. That should be happening any minute now. We've been given the okay to go ahead and do our spray foam insulation. So we're doing spray foam in about 20 minutes. The reason we like using spray foam in the basement is because you don't get any condensation. Um, I, I can show you other examples of uh, basements where there's uh, bat insulation installed and then there's vapor barrier over top of that and you get uh, on when you have a large amount of humidity in the summer and you have a cold air conditioned basement you can get a lot of condensation behind the vapor barrier building up and it just saturates your bat insulation so and then you're going to get mold behind your walls. Look at this. You see what I'm talking about? We've got major condensation. You see that? Behind the vapor barrier. Now, this is the this is my basement. This is my gym, actually. Um, so I just wanted to point this out because you know this has happened before. I've been in this house for about seven years, and uh, as you can see, we've got steel stud exterior walls, vapor barrier, and regular fiberglass bat insulation. Um, if, if you've watched anything on my channel, you've probably seen me use spray foam for basement walls uh, when we're insulating, and you've heard me praise it several times, talking about a thermal break. Uh, this is exactly why you want to use spray foam, and you want steel studs, you don't want, or you want wood studs, sorry, you do not want to use steel studs. A few years ago, I noticed it, and so I ripped out the insulation in this one section, just kind of investigating. And you can see we've got surface mold collecting on the concrete. So you don't want that. So uh, that's why we always use spray foam insulation in a basement. As you can see, the spray foam has been completed. So now we have a fully insulated basement with R20 spray foam insulation. Uh, and we have a thermal break. That's the most important part of this, that we're never gonna get condensation build up behind our walls because there's a three inch space of solid insulation where hot and cold temperatures will never meet up. And if you actually touch this insulation, 
It's actually warm to the touch. It's because it's, it's so uh, energy efficient, it instantly, as soon as you touch it, it's instantly reflecting your own body heat back towards you. So it actually feels warm. It's not warm, it's just room temperature, but it feels like it is. So now and we have a nice tight envelope wrapping in this basement. It's like a giant beer cooler. Speaking of beer, it's Friday. See you on Monday.